Hi, my name is Mr. Fall and I will be teaching your child chemistry this year. So I want to go over a couple things, including where you can find the resources we need for this class and how we do grading. Okay? Um, first off, this is my contact information. If you want to reach out to me via email, it's anfall at concordcarlisle.org. Apparently there is another A fall that already works in the district, so I get the N. All right, so the first thing I want to say is that we typically operate out of what I call a hot, really just a unit document, where I have, and I provide this as a hard copy to the students at the beginning of a unit, and it has all of the activities and worksheets that they'll need for that unit. But in the online version, which is posted to Google Classroom, um, you have a Google Doc version which has live links to it. So anything that we do in the unit is going to be like anything we have on an agenda that you see in blue. If you click on it, it will bring you to a bookmark within the document that shows you where it is. And then once they do that, most of the homework that we have in this class and a lot of the assignments that we have are video based. And once they get down to that activity, there'll be a link for the video associated with it, if there is one, if it's not just a worksheet or something. So you can see here that we have our entire unit outline. Um, the hard copy they get is a hard copy. Sometimes we need to make changes. So it's best to, if you're looking for a most recent update, look at the online version of this. And it's a Google Doc, like I said multiple times now, and it's live and it will change as we change it, okay? The um, other resources that we use, we use something called a Flexbook instead of a, an online textbook. If, you're, if your child would prefer to use an, a regular textbook, we can sign one out to them. But I found that we have really haven't used it in the last few years, so if they want it, they can have it. If not, no worries. The online text work is pretty good. Um, I also, again, most of the homeworks are based off of the video platform. So my YouTube channel is where I'll get most of the information they need. Basically, everything in this course can be found there. And if they miss class or anything, they're kind of expected to watch the YouTube video associated with that lesson in the agenda. And that'll help keep them up to speed so they're not as lost when they come back. And then we can ask more specific and clarifying questions rather than trying to put it all back together. And I have a lot of presentations that are either on PDFs linked to the document or on Classflow. So here's just a sc screenshot of my YouTube channel. So I have about 260 videos that I've put together. So essentially all of the content in this course is there. And this is just a screenshot of the Flexbook, which is the free online textbook. The nice, there's a couple nice features about it. One, it's free. Two, is that it has, um, the units are broken down into way more sections than a traditional textbook. So within each unit, there's like 20 different headings. So students can be more specific. Like if they need help with dimensional analysis, they can just go right to that, that one specific topic. So it's kind of nice to use. And lastly, we'll talk about grading. So the grading policy, 65% of the grades uh, of, of the student's grade is gonna be based off tests in this class. And then the other five, 35%, it's going to be based off labs, homework, and participation. And these things are going to be done on a po total points system. So like they can earn a certain amount and whatever they get out of that amount, you calculate that as a percentage and that'll be that portion of the grade. So I think we're going to have a great year and I'm looking forward to working with your children.